Welcome to episode eighty-three, Dmitri Rybolovlov, from Cardiologist to Capitalist, Ten Lessons. This is an outline of episode eighty-three, lesson one to lesson five. This is lesson six to lesson ten. Lesson one: He is the potash king from Russia. Potash is the same as fertilizer. He led his company Uralkali from IPO in London in 2007 to export consolidation, and through many disasters. Lesson two: He accidentally discovered capitalism in 1990, from cardiologist to capitalist. In five short years, he became a fat cat capitalist. In 1990, he and his father had a medical practice, whose patients were unable to pay them in cash, so they paid them in products instead. To get cash, they first need a broker's license, so they can sell the products. Once they discover how lucrative the license could be, they moved to Moscow in 1992. Lesson three: His father was a Big help. In 1994, father and son founded their own bank, bank to grow the business even bigger. Then four, he spent 11 months in jail in 1995 for murder charges. 1995, he was charged with murder, and jail for 11 months. The charges against him was dropped. He spent his 30th birthday in jail. Lesson five: Afraid, he became a rich refugee oligarch. Experience convinced him to sell and move abroad from Russia with money, better than from Russia with love. Lesson six: He's a good friend of Trump, and not a friend of Putin. In 2008, he bought this Trump mansion in Florida. For ninety-five million dollars, the profit for Trump was fifty-four million dollars in just four years. In Russia, he definitely is not in the top fifty inner circle of Putin. Lesson seven: Buying spree. Besides the Trump mansion in Florida, he also bought Scorpios. Scorpios is this beautiful island previously owned by Aristotle Onassis. He paid a hundred fifty-three million dollars to buy this island for his daughter. Even bought famous painting from Leonardo da Vinci. Lesson eight: To escape tax, he once owned about ten percent of the Bank of Cyprus. Lesson nine: He sold at the right time. It turned out that the price of potash is even more volatile than the price of gold or oil. Just look at this price chart. Lesson ten: Bargain price divorce. I made my calculation. The discount was more than eighty percent. Next, the 2015 divorce settlement of six hundred million dollars. It was a bargain because the first award was four and a half billion dollars. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.